Ready, Freddy. Yikes. Bikes. By Abby Klein. Chapter 1. Doggy Days. Boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to Joe, said our teacher, Mrs. Wushy. She works at the local animal shelter, and I invited her here today to talk to you about pet care. It looks like she brought along a furry friend of hers to meet you. Hello, everyone, said Joe. My name is Joe, and this is Mickey. He's one of the dogs we have at the shelter right now who is looking for a good home. The shelter is a place where we take care of animals who got lost, ran away, or whose owners didn't want them anymore. It's my job to find them a new home. Oh, he's cute, said Jessie. I wish I could take him home, but I'm not allowed to have any pets in my apartment. I'm not allowed to have any either, I said. I live in a house, but my mom's such a neat freak, she won't let me have any pets, except my goldfish, Mako. Well, pets are a big responsibility, said Joe. They take a lot of work. Can anyone tell me one thing you have to do to take care of a dog like Mickey? Robbie was the first one to raise his hand. Robbie is my best friend, and he knows. A lot about taking care of pets because he has a gecko, a python, and a mouse. He practically has a whole zoo at his house. His mom doesn't mind the smell. You have to feed a pet every day, Robbie said. That's right, said Joe. You have to make sure your pet is not only getting enough food, but the right kind of food, as well. Good food makes your pet's coat shiny and gives your pet lots of energy to play. Very good comment. What else do you think you need to do for your pets? Clean up its poop. Max yelled out. Max, said Mrs. Wishy, if you have something to say, please raise your hand. Do not just yell out. Max has a good point, Joe continued. In fact, it is the law that you must clean up after your pet. If you take your dog for a walk, make sure you have something to use bluer to pick up after him. Pooper scooper, pooper scooper, Max blurted out. Max, this is your last warning, said Mrs. Wishy. If you call out one more time, then you will have to go sit in a chair. Chloe's hand shot up, and she almost poked me in the eye with her painted red fingernails. Oh, I know something that's really important, she said. She thinks everything she says is important. It's so annoying. Yes, honey, what is it? Joe asked. All dogs have to go to the beauty parlor. You mean the groomer, dum-dum, Max said, snickering. Dogs don't go to the beauty shop. Did you hear what he just called me? Chloe whined. Mrs. Wishy, I think he should have a time out. Chloe, you are not the teacher. You worry about yourself. It is my job to take care of Max, not yours. Anyway, Chloe continued, I take my dog, Princess, to the beauty parlor every week. They give her a bath, comb out her fur, and tie up her hair in little pink bows so it looks just like mine. I think I'm gonna puke, I whispered to Robbie. Pets do need baths just like humans, Joe said. You don't have to take them to a groomer, though. You can give them a bath right in your own bathtub. EWWW, that is so gross, said Chloe, wrinkling up her nose. I wouldn't want to take a bath in the same tub as my dog. I'd get doggy cooties. I think it's the other way around. Robbie whispered to me. That poor dog would get cooties from her. We burst out laughing. Freddy and Robbie, 
Is there something you'd like to share with the class? asked Mrs. Wushy. Oh no, we answered, biting our lips and trying not to laugh. Is there anything else you think is important? Joe asked, trying to get us back on track. Jessie raised her hand. Exercise, she said. Pets need to run around and play. I know I go crazy if I can't go out and play. Very good, said Joe. Exercise makes pets happy and healthy. You can take your dog for a walk or play ball with him. That way, you both get exercise. Well, boys and girls, it's almost time for Joe to go, said Mrs. Wishy, but before she leaves, she has a very special event to tell you all about. Is it a dog show? Is it a dog show? Chloe asked excitedly. I just know my little princess will come in first place. No, it's not a dog show, said Joe. It's a bike-a-thon. We are trying to raise money to care for the animals in the shelter until they are adopted. Here's how it works. We will have a bicycle course set up, and each time you ride around the course, that counts as one lap. You will have one hour to ride as many laps as you can. If you are interested, take this sponsor sheet home and ask your friends and family to pay you for each lap you ride. Whatever money you raise will go to support the animals in the shelter. That sounds like fun, said Jessie. It is a lot of fun, answered Joe. Just raise your hand if you're interested, and I'll give you one of these forms. Everyone's hand shot up. Great! I look forward to seeing everybody two weeks from Saturday, Joe said as she passed out the papers. She put Mickey's leash on and started to head out the door. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for letting me come. Woof! Woof! Mickey barked. He says, see you on Saturday, to me. Chapter 2 Wanna bet? That day at lunch everyone was talking about the bike -a -thon. I can't wait, said Chloe. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to ride my brand new bike. Let me guess, said Jessie. It's pink. It is, said Chloe. How did you know? Oh, just a lucky guess, Jessie answered, smiling at me. Anyway, it's got this adorable basket with flowers on it and rainbow-colored ribbons that hang from the handlebars and the funniest horn you ever heard that's shaped like a butterfly. Sounds perfect, Jessie said, turning to me and pretending to gag. I know. Chloe replied, fluffing her bouncy, strawberry blonde curls. Of course you know, I muttered under my breath. You know everything. Well, my bike isn't new, said Jessie, but I can ride really fast, so I will be able to do a lot of laps and raise lots of money for the animals. I bet you're as fast as a mako shark, I said. They can swim as fast as 22 miles per hour. You're not that fast, Max snorted. I bet I'm faster than you. Everybody knows boys are faster than girls. Says who? Chloe asked, sticking her nose right into Max's face. Max's eyes got big. Are you talking to me? He asked, slowly raising his fist. Uh, no, Chloe whispered as she quickly shrank back in her seat. Boys are not faster than girls, you big bully, Jessie said. I bet I could beat you any day. Oh, really? Max said, laughing. You think you're so tough. Well then, let's. Make a bet. I bet you your snack for a whole week that I will be able to ride more laps than you in the bike-a-thon. 
You are on. Jesse shot back. How about you, wimp? Max turned to me and poked me in the chest. You want to bet, too, shark boy? Oh, wait, what am I saying? You can't be in the bikeathon. you have to ride a two-wheeler to do it, and you don't know how. Oh yes I do, I said, sticking out my chest and trying to sound convincing. Since when did the little baby learn to ride a two-wheeler? Max snickered. The last time I saw you out on your bike, it had training wheels on it. Well, maybe you need glasses to help you see better, because my bike doesn't have training wheels anymore. Freddy's a liar, liar, pants on fire. Max started singing loudly. I am not a liar. I yelled back. I guess you'll just see for yourself at the bike a I said, and I took another bite of my bologna sandwich. Just then Robbie kicked me under the table, and I choked. Pieces of bologna sandwich almost came flying out of my nose. I turned to Robbie and whispered, Hey, what are you doing? The question is what are you doing? Robbie whispered back. You don't know how to ride a two-wheeler. That's a lie. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. I turned to Max okay, Max, I'll make you a bet, but I am not going to bet against Jessie. I know she's much faster than all of us. Jessie smiled. Well then, what's the bet, shark bait? Max asked, leaning in close to my face. I could feel his hot breath on my neck. My heart was pounding. I rubbed my shark's tooth for good luck. I bet that I can ride more laps than you at the bikeathon. You? Ride more laps than me? Max laughed. That's a good one. No, I'm serious. Are you going to bet me or not? I asked, trying to make my voice sound tough. It's a bet. Wait, what are we betting? Same as you bet Jesse. Snack for a week, I said. You go, Freddy. Jessie pumped her fist in the air. You can do it. Fine. It's a bet. Max said. Let's shake on it, I said, sticking my hand out. He grabbed my hand and started squeezing so hard I thought it was going to break, but I didn't make a face. I can't believe you just did that, Robbie whispered. I think you've lost your mind. After that, I couldn't eat anymore because I was about to lose my lunch. Chapter 3 Susie's Big Mouth That night at dinner my sister, Susie, had to open up her big mouth. Hey, Mom, Dad, guess what? Today I'd heard that the animal shelter Dash Susie didn't even get the whole sentence out of her mouth before my neat freak mom interrupted her. The animal shelter. Stop right there, my mom said. I don't think I like the sound of this. You both. No, I don't want any pets that shed or smell in this house. Oh, I know. Believe me, Mom, I know. But this isn't about adopting a pet. The shelter is going to have a bike-a-thon in two weeks to raise money for the animals. Can I do it? I think it's a great idea, my mom said. Of course you can, Susie, as long as you don't bring any furry friends home with you afterward. How about you, Freddy? my dad asked. Are you going to do it, too? Before I could even answer, Susie piped up, he can't. What do you mean he can't? Of course he can, my mom said, smiling. Oh no, he can't. 
You have to know how to ride a two-wheeler, and the little baby. Still has to use training wheels, Susie said, pretending to suck her thumb. I am not a baby. I yelled. Oh, Freddy, don't let Susie get you so upset, my mom said. Just ignore her. Easy for her to say. Are you sure that you can't use a bike with training wheels? My dad asked. Fine. You don't believe me, then I'll get the entry form and show you, Susie said, running out of the room. Seconds later she was back. She shoved the paper in my dad's face. See for yourself, dad, she said, poking at the paper. It says right here that only two wheelers are allowed. Slow down, Susie, my dad said. I can't read it when you're shaking it around like that. May I have the paper for a moment, please? My dad read the note silently and then looked up at me. I guess Susie is right, champ. No training wheels. Bonley two-wheelers. Told you so. Susie said, grinning. Told you so. Told you so, I mimicked. Why do you have to be such a brat all the time? Why do you have to be my brother? Susie shot back. For your information, Miss Know-It-All, I am going to do the bike -a -thon. Oh, really? How? I'm going to ride a two-wheeler. That's the funniest thing I ever heard, Susie said, laughing. There's no magic spell for learning to ride a bike. Do you think you are just going to wave your magic wand, and then presto, you'll be a pro like Lance Armstrong? Duh. Don't you think I know that? Okay, okay, enough, you too, my dad interrupted. Freddy, I'm a little confused. What do you mean when you say you're going to ride a two-wheeler? I told everyone at school that I was going to, so I have no choice. I answered. Why would you do a thing like that, honey? My mom asked. You know very well you can't, so why would you say that you could? I didn't want them all to think I was a baby. I said, sniffling. Everybody already knows how to ride a two-wheeler by now. Well, everybody except me. I'm so scared that I will fall off and break my arm. I already broke my arm once. I don't ever want to do that again. That was horrible. I wiped my nose on my sleeve. Oh, now look. The little baby wavy is crying said Susie. Not another word out of you, Susie, my dad barked, or you're going to your room. Now be quiet. I'm sure we can figure something out, honey, my mom said, giving me a kiss on the cheek. Of course we can. It's easy, my dad said. I'll just teach Freddy how to ride a two-wheeler before the bike -a do you really think I can learn in just two weeks, Dad? If you put your mind to it, you can learn anything, my dad said. But you're going to have to work hard and practice, practice, practice. Oh, I'll practice all day if I have to. That's the spirit, my dad said with a smile. I like that attitude. Can we start now? I asked, jumping up from the table. Please, Dad, please? I'm glad you're excited, but not tonight, Mouse. It's already dark. I'll tell you what. You get a good night's sleep, and we can start first thing in the morning since tomorrow is Saturday. Thanks, Dad. You're the best.